So here we have the Hyundai Ionic on a 19 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. We have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's where we see the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. In the dead centre, we have the speedometer for the car. To the right of that, you'll see the total miles. They are 5,125. Over on the left-hand side here, it will show you uh, whether the batteries are charging, whether you're using eco mode or the power band for the car. We back out to the steering wheel. On the left-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls, including voice activation for the phone. And on the right-hand side, we have cruise control with speed limiter. When you set the cruise control, you're able to set the distance between yourself and the car in front, and this vehicle is able to maintain that distance by itself. Hit that button just there to do that, uh, but it will speed up and slow itself down dependent on the, uh, the vehicle's speed in front. We have a video that shows this working. Uh, you can find that on our website and also on our YouTube channel as well. Over in the center, we have the touchscreen for the car. So this is where you can access your satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how that works that you can find on our website and also on our YouTube channel. If we put the car into reverse, you'll see we have a full color reversing camera with guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image that you see uh, being displayed on the screen. When it comes to music, we have the radio, of course. We have DAB, FM, and AM radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. You can connect up an auxiliary device, a USB device. You can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. And on the next screen there, you'll see we also have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So plenty of ways to listen to your music in this car. Below that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures, the fan speed up and down. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed with these buttons just here. When you're happy with those settings, this button turns the air conditioning on or off. It's on at the moment because that light is showing. So off, back on again, and you'll see it also shows you just there that you've turned it on. Or you can hit auto, the car will now take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air in order that it maintains the temperature that you've asked for. You can override that at any point in time you wish to. Underneath that section, we have two 12 volt charging sockets here and here, auxiliary and USB inputs. This pad is a wireless charging pad for your phone. So if your phone uh, can be charged wirelessly, pop it on that pad and it will start charging uh, straight away. We have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. And then either side of that, we have these buttons first of all. So this is the heated driver seat, heated passenger seat with three different heat settings each. The cooled or air conditioned passenger seat and the same on the driver's side. And again, three different speeds on each. This button turns off the parking sensors and this will turn on the heated steering wheel. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.